Hey guys, all right, so the last video I did on SEO, search engine optimization, where you saw me writing on that chalkboard, a lot of you guys wanted to know how I created that video. So I thought I'd do a video showing you what I did. I was using a tablet by Wacom. It's a bamboo tablet. Cost me $150 on Amazon. Now they have a $70 one, but the reviews on that were not as good and it wasn't as large as this tablet. So I went ahead and splurged on it. I uh, plugged it in, USB, real easy to set up. It's gonna try to install a driver or Windows will try to install a driver, but that doesn't work. So you need to use the driver that comes with the software. So you also get, um, well, it comes, with, comes on the CD, but you also get software. So if you don't have Photoshop, you can use their software. So the cool thing though, if you do have Photoshop, as soon as you plug it in, install the driver, Photoshop will recognize it and you can use the pen as a mouse. So I basically just selected my brush in Photoshop and I'll show you that in a minute but then you just start drawing right on the tablet and so what you were seeing was me drawing and then when you want to erase you just turn it upside down and erase that simple right so I think this can be a good tool for some of you depending on the kinds of videos you do obviously this is not going to work for every kind of video but I know a lot of you guys are shy you don't want to be on camera but you can make some interesting videos illustrating some points using something like this and it's it's fun you also learned that I have absolutely no talent when it comes to drawing when I did that video but it's all good I had fun creating the video anyway so now let's go inside Photoshop and I'll show you how I set the rest of it up so come with me all right ladies and gents so here we are inside Photoshop right now I'm using the mouse to navigate because it's easier for me you can use the pen to do this part but for some things I find it's a little bit easier to use the mouse. So I'm going to select the paintbrush tool over here and then up here I can come and select the size of the brush. So if I want my writing to be really fat I could slide it this way but if I want it to look more like a pen I will make it pretty small. So now I'm ready to start writing and of course you can come down here and select the color that you want to write with as well but I was trying to mimic the chalkboard look so that's why I used white. So basically I have the tablet sitting in front of me just like I would have a keyboard in front of me and I'm just going to write like I would with a pencil. So that's what you saw me doing in that video. And to erase, I can just turn the pen upside down or I can hit the E key on the keyboard as an eraser and it turns the pen into an eraser. Now you might be wondering, Lisa, why would you spend $150 on something like this when you can just use your mouse? You absolutely can. If you are comfortable writing letters with a mouse, I don't know if you guys have ever tried to write your name or draw something with a mouse in Photoshop. It's a lot more difficult because of how you have to hold the mouse. But with a pen, you have much more control. And for me, you guys saw how I struggled drawing that penguin. So can you imagine me trying to draw with a mouse? So for me, it's much easier to use a pen than it is to try to use the mouse. But if you can use the mouse and it's comfortable for you, then yeah, you can save some money. This device is really for people who are artists and they use a lot of, uh, they use Photoshop to do drawings because you can be a lot more detailed. For example, let's say I wanted to draw a little mustache on this guy right here. See how I'm making really tiny strokes like that? That would be really hard to do with a mouse. So this thing is really for people that are really good with drawing and you use Photoshop a lot to make pictures and drawing. So it's a really neat tool. If you plan on doing these kinds of videos a lot, it might be a great investment. And as I said earlier, for a lot of you guys who want to do videos, but you are not comfortable being on camera, you can use Camtasia like I'm using now to record the screen, open up a graphic program like Photoshop or the software that comes with the tablet. And you can you know, make illustrations in your video to make your points and, and make your recordings a lot more interesting. So Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.